What's up everybody? Tech Talking Ginger here, and we got an episode of game news going on. Have you guys ever been whooped up on a Dark Souls game? Bloodbath on a Bloodborne game? Well, the good news is, you won't have to wait long to get whooped up again. Elden Ring's coming out. But, according to some uh, some leaks and stuff, and rumors, and, and I mean, they're not even really rumors and leaks. I mean, I think they're fully just confirmed, honestly. Um, well, they're not going to make it as difficult, or... I guess not so much they're not going to make it as difficult. If you want to get beat down on the new Elden Ring, you can definitely get beat down. Um, and that's what we're going to cover on our first topic right after this quick intro. Alright you guys, so Elden Ring is coming out super soon and we're going to talk about it as soon as we talk about one other quick little thing. Are you guys subscribed? And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Please, it really helps out the channel a lot. Let's YouTube know that you enjoy the channel, you enjoy the content, and I really hope you do. And if you don't enjoy the content, tell me below what could be changed to make you enjoy the content. Is it me? Is it how I cover the news? Is it the editing, video quality, sound? What do you guys enjoy? What don't you enjoy? You know, I want to create an awesome community here where you guys talk to me, I talk to you, you guys talk to each other. And we can talk about these games coming, these rumors, these tech coming, these reviews, these unboxings, all of it. But let's move on to Elden Ring. So Elden Ring is out very soon, and the hype is real. And I know I'm pumped to play it. Um, I love From Software. I think they do great. They do Armored Core. They do Dark Souls um, Remastered. Uh, they, they do great work. Um, but yeah, we're about to have Elden Ring. And we know some character classes, and then there's some we don't. And one of the ones we know about now is called The Wretch. And it is not recommended um, if you are new to the series. The director, he talked about it and said it's, you know, you'd be familiar with it if you played other games like Bloodborne and Dark Souls, where they have the same class with a different name. But on Elden Ring, it's called The Wretch. And it is pretty much just so much harder. It's if you want a challenge. If you want a challenge in this game and you're coming on to play it when it comes out, you pick the wretch. If you're new to the game or you just kind of want to have a chilled out experience playing the game, you do not want to pick the wretch. And the classes that are in the game that we know of right now are the warrior, enchanted knight, prophet, champion, and bloody wolf. On previous ones, like Bloodborne, it was the Waste of Skin would be the same as what the Wretch will be on Elden Ring. And the Deprived one is what the class was called on Dark Souls. So if you're familiar with those, then you'll know what to expect with the Wretch. But um, that is some of our Elden Ring news. The other bit of Elden Ring news that we have for you guys. So there's been a lot of discussion on the difficulty of the games, um, previous games, like Dark Souls just punishing players and um, purposely just making it for the sake of fun so difficult that you can't beat it. Where I know there's arguments on both sides. Um, you know, some people are like, it's not that hard, you're not trying that hard, you give up too easy, it's fun because it's difficult. Well, other people are like, dude, we need some difficulty settings in this game. Um, you know, uh, but what... The director and everything been, that's been stated in, in PlayStation interviewing them and asking questions and stuff is that there will be more like um, chances to summon backup from friends than previous games. Um, you can sneak and avoid enemies and that overall they didn't intentionally try to lower the difficulty. They just think more people will complete it because there's more chances for you to use sneaking and 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 solve problems in different ways than previously before and get through obstacles and hard parts easier than before because there's other opportunities besides just going in and playing a super hard boss fight after boss fight pretty much where you have to memorize every last detail of how these attacks are going to come so that way you can find a way to beat this person through repetition is how a lot of people do it. Um, but it, it's supposed to be just overall easier, not so much like a difficulty setting or easy accessibility features that just turn the game into easy mode. There isn't just some click easy mode. It's just different 
ways of doing it from the sounds of it and and being able to just avoid some enemies and sneak and and just i think if anything maybe they lowered the difficulty a tiny bit but i, I it doesn't sound like they did um but they are optimistic that more players than ever before will beat this game than previous dark souls and bloodborne games so you guys we have talked about mario kart um, and there being a new one coming out, and rumors. Well, there's been more rumors, and um, I guess from what we're hearing is it could be called Mario Kart Crossroads, or Mario Kart 10, or Mario Kart 9. We don't know, but that is one of the rumors. And most these, all these leaks come from Leaky Pan. They will have more than just Mario Kart characters. Um, they will have them from other IP, not a bunch of other IPs, just one, Ubisoft, Rabbids. Um, so there should be some characters from there. Um, this is all rumors, of course. Um, there will also be Advance Wars, Animal Crossing, Balloon Fight, and F-Zero, Kid Icarus, Splatoon, The Legend of Zelda. That's both characters and courses from those games. And they're saying that there will be no coins, one item box, and uh, there'll be small boxes and big boxes, which will decide what items you get. Um, so for that one item slot, uh, I, I really hope it's not just one item slot, but we'll see. Um, the big box, little box is cool because the little box is smaller, like less powerful item. Big box would be like, you know, your, your star and your um, bullet and stuff like that. But um, if you have a little box and you drive through a big box, it'll automatically be upgraded to a big box is what they're also saying. But this, this once again, is all rumors, okay? So, so don't, don't quote me on this. This is a leak from Leaky Panda. Um, this could be true. I'm sure some of it is. But that's what we know about the new Mario Kart that uh, is rumored in the making. And keep in mind... Um, the Mario Kart you're all playing now, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's a Wii U game. Um, this ain't even, there ain't even been a Switch game, unless you count that Circuit Live or whatever, which, that's not a Mario Kart game, really, in my opinion, you guys. So, you know, this would be the first proper Switch Mario Kart. Activision Blizzard, you guys, Call of Duty on PlayStation. This has been talked about by me and many other people. So, we have confirmation that the next three Call of Duties... One, um, which is the new Modern Warfare series, one that's coming out, and then two by Treyarch, so three Call of Duty games, um, which I think one of them is, is like an upgrade to Warzone or something. Um, but they're confirmed to be on PlayStation, the next three Call of Duties. But after that, I don't think you'll see it on PlayStation. I don't think it'll be an Xbox exclusive, but I could be wrong. But, you know, at least we have confirmation that the next three Call of Duties will definitely be on PlayStation. So that's good news. I'm a PlayStation guy. I love PlayStation. Um, but you know, when, when you look at it, you know, uh, Xbox is honoring, um, you know, the games and the contracts with PlayStation before the purchase, which they did with Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo. But I'm just, I'm just saying, um, you know, it's, there's a good chance you, you won't see COD after these next three on PlayStation, but at least we know for the foreseeable future, there will be Call of Duty on PlayStation, you guys. So, let's move on past that. Last bit of news, you guys. Valve Steam Deck. Gonna be released February 25th. Um, talked about that in a previous video. If you guys haven't watched it, you should. Um, probably put it up somewhere. But, uh, yeah. So, Steam 3.0. Um, the new operating system update that they're gonna be pushing out. Um, yeah, so Steam OS 3.0. Um, pretty much what we're looking at is dynamic VRS. So with this being implemented, um, you won't notice it when you're playing, um, but what it will do is it should help some games um, both run better and still look fantastic, but it should eke out a little extra battery life, um, which, you know, with a handheld, that can be everything. You know, you, you're playing it and you're only getting a half hour, hour, an hour, and a half tops. Um, you know, that, that kind of sucks. That's, that's not great, you know. But if you're able to push three, four, five hours, 
you know, and I'm seeing that with this new um, dynamic VRS on there and running something at like 30 FPS, um, like Portal, uh, you're going to be pushing five, six hours of gameplay. Um, that's respectable, you guys, you know, five or six hours of gameplay. <laughs> I mean, the system's not going to be light. It's going to be comfy in your hand. It's definitely going to be heavier than a Switch. Five or six hours playing. Could you imagine holding that up for that long? Woo! You are a dedicated gamer. But, um, so this is good news. You know, um, dynamic VRS, it's, it's not something to worry about. It is not going to make, make the shading and make everything look bad. It'll still look good. Um, so you guys have nothing to worry about there. All good news. So February 25th, marking down the calendar like Christmas time. I bet you guys are. I am. But, um, that's it for game news, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully you check out my other social medias and um, share this. Share this on Facebook. Share this with your friends. Um, comment down below. Don't get no comments ever, usually. Kind of sucks. I'd like to know what you guys think, how you're feeling, um, how you feeling about the game news, how you feeling about the tech news. Um, you know, Just ask me how I'm doing, how are you guys doing, um, how you enjoying the new year. But um, that's it. And until next time, you guys enjoy.